bike definitely pulls harder after 100 miles than uh, right after when you install it. I think that tune's pretty much dialed in now. Still use a little bit, but. Hopefully this road's almost fucking done. Yeah, this thing just pulls hard. Yeah, I've got 102 miles on it now. Let's see if I can pass this turbo PT Cruiser. I feel the power. Yeah, fourth gear actually has like some oomph to it now. Like before, fourth was just like, oh, I should probably cool the revs down a little bit gear. Now it's actually giving me a little bit of power. If you're uh, thinking about throwing the piston in your bike, I highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. got lucky today. I thought it was supposed to rain all week, but apparently not. There's like a 10% chance all day, so I looked at the radar, the Doppler, and it didn't look like anything was going to be coming near me, so hopefully not. It's a little chilly. Whew. Now the two-step's pretty rowdy on this thing, too. I took the baffle out of the exhaust. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's louder. <laughs> Need to change up the sprocket on this so it'll go uh, a little bit quicker. I'm pretty sure the lack of torque that I had before from uh, just the cam was uh, contributing to the loss of power. So now that I have that piston to back up the torque on the bike a little bit, it'll actually uh, probably be okay with a smaller sprocket on the rear go back to a 34 or maybe I'll just throw the 15 on the front since I have one see how that affects it I also ordered uh, the speed spacers from Grandfathers uh, those are gonna be here probably tomorrow if I had to guess it says Friday on my delivery thing but they are in my city currently and they're not being delivered today so I don't know what they'd be doing sitting in the same city all day tomorrow so That'll be cool. I'm excited to see how those affect the wheel in person. I've seen the videos. It's kind of interesting how much more free spin you have on the wheel when there's less resistance on the bearings from the speed spacers from the, the grandfathers. I don't know if that'll translate anything to the bike. People swear by it. At the end of the day, it's cool. It's another part. More oh shit, that was like an AC cover or something. I almost ran over. So yeah, we're just cruising at like 50. Absolutely no problem. Bike's very happy. Temperature's okay. Nice 40% throttle. AFR is on target. I went and got this tuned over at a BLR Tuning up in Vancouver. My buddy Bill owns the place. And uh, I took the bike up there in my car. Uh, looks kind of funny, but it got the job done. I, I called it the, it's like the Ford has the, uh, the Ranchero to combat the uh, El Camino that Chevy had. So I call it the Crown Chero because it's like a Crown Victoria and a Ranchero. But <laughs> I took the bike up there, I left it with him. He figured out why my wideband wasn't working. And then I ordered this cool screen. And now I have all these cool readouts and stuff for the bike. I'll have to do a more in-depth video on that. But yeah, he uh, cleaned up the wiring underneath my seat for the power commander. So the previous owner had installed it. And uh, I took, I had uh, taken a light kit and put it on that you guys have seen. And I just kind of haphazardly did that because uh, it was in the middle of the, when those fires were going. So I was trying to wire the bike outside while breathing in all that smoke it was not good so he finally uh or he went in there for me so i didn't have to do it and uh, the whole under side of the seat looks so much better and cleaner i'm not happy with that or i'm really happy with that 
So I've got 100 miles on the piston, like I said, it's running great, I'm very happy. I would definitely recommend it. DHM, I think it's $160, might even be on sale right now, I think I paid $120 for it. And then if you don't have the Power Commander or the A Racer or the Bazaz or whatever the hell fuel controller you're going to run, make sure you get the flash ECU because your bike's not going to run right with the, the up compression. Also you want to be doing an intake and an exhaust and the cam to get the maximum gains out of it. Speaking of new stuff, I need to get new tires. The back one has a giant hunk of metal in it. I don't know if I want to go white walls or if I want to go, go with uh, the tires I used to run all the time on my Z125s, which are the Michelin Power Pures. I love those things, they're extremely grippy, very confidence inspiring tires. So anyway, that's my uh, first 100 mile impression. I just did my oil change, refilled it up with gas after the 100 miles and it's running great. I didn't see any metal in the oil or nothing to be concerned of and this thing's just insane. It just keeps on going. Even with my dumb ass having been inside it. Sweet, okay. Can't do too long wheelies because it doesn't have that pump in it right now because I'm still doing the brake in. Once I get 500 miles, I'll be able to put my wheelie pump back in so I'm not destroying this new piston. But anyway, that's probably going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Sonic Noom. Uh, I guess I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Damn it. Alright, thanks, guys.